I'm Caleb Nata. Um, this weekend I'm racing in the Loche karting team with Chris Vanderdriff in the senior DVS class. And then I fly out to head over to Australia to compete in the first round in Tasmania in the S5000. DVS doesn't have a power valve, it's direct drive, doesn't have a clutch. You really have to carry the speed, get on the power nice and early. As a Rotax you could come in nice and hard, roll through the corner and then smooth on the, on the acceleration. This car is just a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more going on. Getting me physically fit, mentally fit, everything has to happen so fast. Apexes, cornering and stuff like that, it's all pretty similar, so yeah, mega training. My name's Jacob Cranston, I'm racing in the senior Vortex DVS class. So I've been racing for about 13 years now. Um, I raced from cadets, then moved into senior, jumped into the KZ2 field, which is pretty much the premier class of Carsport New Zealand. And then we had a break for a little bit, and then we came back to the Vortex DVS and Rotex. I do like the, the racing in this because the motor is so similar. It's not a huge advantage in, in motors, um, but direct drive with no clutch is just... It's kind of bringing back to the old days of running Yamahas and whatnot, so yeah. It's, um, it's an enjoyable class and it's, yeah, competitive. So I haven't actually raced karts for nearly five years now. So um, I used to race in a category called Junior Rotax, um, but it's awesome to have Chris Vanderdriff supply me with a, with a kart and the DVS engine. So it's a bit different to what I'm used to in the go-kart days, um, but I'm really, really enjoying it. It's pretty fast. I mean, the mid-range top end karts are these pretty quick. So I'm carrying a lot of speed through those, those fast left-handers. Obviously dry, it's a little bit more physical. There's a lot more going on, a lot more faster. So today in the rain, we didn't have the best race before, but um, we made some setup changes. I love the rain, so um, I'm excited to get out there again. There's a lot of stuff you can change on these carts, um, same as the KZ2, but I found when I was racing the KZ2, when you go into wet weather compared to the dry condition, you don't change a lot. It's more your brake bias, obviously tyres, a little bit of track width, but other than that, there's not a, not a lot you change. But on these, you can change so much to try and help yourself in the wet. So all day today, we've just been battling away trying to get the right setup in for the races but with the, the weather changing so quick it's just where do you go where do you stop sort of thing so started off not too bad qualifying third getting a second in the first heat first in the second heat and in the final after all the challenging weather conditions we made the wrong decision on axle and whatnot and um, yeah we ended up finishing third in the final but um, they brought in a new system three or four years ago where they've got a pushback system um, so if you hit someone hard enough the nose cone will drop in so unfortunately i made a mistake and hit someone up the bum I must have a five second penalty because of that, so yeah. Yeah, obviously a massive thank you to all my supporters, family and friends. Um, it's been a hard journey and we're, we're getting there. We're not going to give up. We're going to keep on going and I couldn't do it without all of them. So just a massive thank you to everybody who gets me on the grid every year. It's, I couldn't thank them enough.